G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here. New in vMix 27, we've added an audio bus manager and a bus mixer. Audio buses in vMix allow you to create alternate audio mixes that can be used in different ways throughout your production. You can use them to create separate audio mixes for things like streams and records, creating a talkback channel, or creating a different mix for your outputs. The new bus manager allows you to quickly route your input's audio to a different bus without needing to open up the input settings every time. And the bus mixer allows you to change the audio levels of inputs within a bus. Now here in my production, I've already enabled some buses and that can be done by going up to settings and then going to audio outputs. Now these aren't on by default as more buses do use additional computer resources. So only ever enable a bus if you're going to be using it. And you can check out Heath's scintillating audio bus video if you wanna know more about audio buses in vMix. Firstly, we'll take a look at the audio bus manager. Now it's located in the vMix hamburger menu, which is in the bottom right hand corner of the interface down here. Then we just need to select audio bus manager. So this is what the audio bus manager looks like. On the left, you'll have any of your audio inputs here. And on the right hand side, you will have your buses. Now you'll also notice a drop down menu here, which allows you to kind of narrow down what's displayed here. So if I only wanted to show my cameras, I could click this here and I will be able to quickly route the audio of my cameras and I can change that back to all up the top here to show all of my audio inputs. Now you'll also notice that we have categories down here as well so I can select my category. So I have this red category here for my camera. I could select that and that will only display what's in that category. So you have that option as well just to help you narrow down for the routing. All right, so how does this all work? It's fairly straightforward. If I wanted to add my camera to a bus, all I need to do is go along the top here and select the bus that I wanna add my camera to. So I wanna put it on bus B. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's only on the master in my audio mixer here. And you can see that there's nothing coming through on bus B. So I'm going to add it to bus B by clicking on this square. And as you can see now in the audio mixer, bus B is now enabled for my camera. And I now have audio coming through to bus B. I can click it again to turn it off like so. Or if I wanted to add it to say bus A, I could click on bus A, uh, bus A, bus B, bus C. I can add all of my different inputs to different buses by clicking on them and then clicking them again to switch them off. So that's it. That's how um, simple it is to use the audio bus manager. So now I'm gonna show you how you can use the audio bus mixer. Now I am going to leave the bus B on for my camera so I can show you how it all works. And I can access my bus mixer directly from here by clicking on the settings icon here. And that's going to open up my audio input settings and it's gonna automatically select bus mixer. Now the more common way to access this particular screen would be to go to your audio input settings here, click on the little gear icon, and that's going to bring up your audio settings and then you can click on bus mixer. It's the same screen, but it's just a different way of accessing it. So on this screen here, you'll see all of my buses along here and down the bottom, you'll see the ones that have been enabled for my camera input. So I've just got it on bus B as you remember before. Now I can also add it to buses here as well if I wanted to but I'm just going to work on bus B at the moment. So let's just have a look at bus B. You can see that I've got full volume coming through on bus B in my audio mixer, but I want to adjust the level of this camera down a little bit. So I'm going to move this all the way down. Now, as you can see, I'm not getting the same audio coming through on bus B. My master is still fine because I haven't adjusted my master, but you can see I'm getting lower audio coming through on bus B for my camera now. So if I move this back up again, you'll see it's now gone up to the top again. All right, so that's how you use the audio bus mixer. It's fairly straightforward, as I said, you can just lower the levels here and that will lower the level in that particular bus. Now, if you do wanna manage the audio level of the overall bus, you can just use the bus here to lower the overall audio for the whole bus. If you wanna know more about audio buses in vMix, check out the video that's linked in the description or you can click on it at the end of this video. If you have any questions about vMix and you need any support, please send us through an email to our support team via the support page on vMix.com. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Now that you've reached the end of this video, here are a couple of other things that might tickle your fancy. If you like to keep up to date with vMix videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For a free 60-day trial of vMix Pro, head over to vMix.com.